It is time for Inside Out as we are joined by SNY NFL insider Connor Hughes. And there was no shock in Monday's decision, but throughout the season we kept hearing Robert Sala say, Zach's getting better. You guys just don't see it. Then we thought the Chiefs game might be a turning point. Maybe the end of regulation against the Giants would make things click. But, Connor, they never did. How come things never improved for Zach Wilson this year? The struggles were inevitable, and and I think it it goes back to – when the Jets made the decision to pursue Aaron Rodgers and then successfully completed that trade, the the Jets essentially told the world, and and I think they they actually did at different points in press conferences, that the only thing that could salvage Zach Wilson's career, the only thing that could save Zach Wilson, make him a successful quarterback, was if he was given the opportunity to sit, watch, observe, and just take a break before eventually then going back in and trying to resurrect his NFL career. And that's why they went out and got Aaron Rodgers. That's why they committed to Aaron Rodgers for the next two to three years. But unfortunately, things changed. Aaron Rodgers suffered the Achilles injury. Zach Wilson had to go back in there. And what we saw was that a couple months sitting behind Aaron Rodgers really didn't make that much of a difference. This was a quarterback who at this point in his career is incapable of playing at the NFL level. And unfortunately, no amount of wishful thinking was going to change that. Well, then that leads to a huge follow-up question. If they knew last spring or in the summer that Zach Wilson wasn't ready to be an NFL starting quarterback, how can Joe Douglas and Robert Sala make the decision that he's going to be the backup for a 39-year-old quarterback? Here's my expert opinion and my expert analysis. I don't know. I mean, seriously, honestly, that, that's what it is. I have no idea because what you just laid out is the most obvious, no doubt, common sense thing. If you know this guy can't play and you are mortgaging your future on a 39-year-old quarterback who, you know, father time catches up kind of to everybody and you figure injuries might eventually play a role. I mean, heck, look around the NFL. Basically, every single quarterback has missed some portion of time. How do you bank the fate of your season on a guy you know can't play. Now, uh, if the Jets were just willing to go into this season with Aaron Rodgers and Zach Wilson behind him because they wanted to still show faith in Zach Wilson, give him a chance to develop, get those scout team reps, I get it. But the moment that Aaron Rodgers went down, it was an organizational top-to-bottom ball dropping to not go out there and acquire another quarterback who you know can play. And I'm not saying go sign Carson Wentz and immediately start him. Go sign Josh Dobbs or or trade for Josh Dobbs and immediately start him. What I'm saying is get the break glass in case of emergency option out there. So if you're going to stick with Zach Wilson and tell Zach Wilson, this is your team for right now, as long as you're playing well, fine. But if he starts to struggle and if those problems from yesteryear come back, make sure there's another player there capable of stepping in to keep the season alive. The Jets didn't do that, and right now their season uh, is teakering on the brink of extinction. Connor, you've been around this organization for a while now, so you know how it reacts, or maybe should I say overreacts. Will there be changes, or does everyone get an Aaron Aaron Rodgers hall pass? I believe that if Aaron Rodgers goes into Woody Johnson's office and says, Mr. Woody, as Ed Reed used to call him, I am only coming back if Nathaniel Hackett is my offensive coordinator, Robert Sala is my head coach, and Joe Douglas is my general manager, then I think that is what Woody Johnson is going to do. But if Rodgers if Rogers goes in there and makes a comment like, look, fine, change a coach, I just want to be a part of the discussion, then I think that's what Woody Johnson will do. It, it seems very clearly that the Jets are hanging and, and banking a lot of their future on what Aaron Rodgers wants, and I think in, in time we'll, we'll come to learn what it is he wants to to maintain with the Jets and stay as his team's starting quarterback for the next couple of years. Yeah, plenty of drama still around the Jets, and I couldn't agree with you more. I think Aaron Rodgers is the big decision maker. Connor Hughes, Mm -hmm. thanks for joining us here on Honda Sports Night.